If I supplement testosterone, will it make me go bald faster? It's a great question because there are some legitimate issues here, but you got to hear this to get the full story. A little bit of information can be dangerous. This concern stems from what most people know about DHT, and that's, that's dihydrotestosterone. It's a metabolite of testosterone, so with higher levels of testosterone, we'll see higher levels of DHT. And hair follicles are sensitive to it in men, some much more than others, and even some women, actually. But hair loss in women is an entirely different subject for another time. DHT is rarely the major factor in hair thinning in women. But here's the hard truth about hair loss and DHT. The likelihood of male baldness is most influenced by genetics. It's true. The bald genes, do they come from your mother's side of the family? Is that true? Well, yes and no. The main gene for baldness is on the X chromosome, which you do get from your mother. But with genetics, it's not that neat and tidy. You always get a mix of genetic expression, which is why you can have siblings with different baldness patterns um, even some with none at all from the same mother. The point I want to make about DHT is those predisposed to high sensitivity to it genetically can experience hair loss from even normal circulating levels of testosterone. To affect that, you'd have to block testosterone production entirely. Not a good idea. So I think controlling DHT concentrations is a bit of a wild goose chase. Yes, they bind with higher affinity to, to the androgen receptors than testosterone in the hair follicles, but your receptors are likely already saturated. There are only so many receptor sites, and having more circulating DHT won't keep increasing hair loss indefinitely, so we're back to genes. Thank your parents. I really don't block, like blocking DHT with uh, finasteride or dutasteride because it's a party killer. DHT's a much more potent stimulator of libido than testosterone, and you don't want to be without it. Besides, haven't you heard? Man, yeah, bald is sexy. I know it's mostly the bald guys saying that, but really though, there's never been a better time to be bald, right? These days you just shave your head. No more wrap around with a shiny dome. Shave your head, man, it's a great equalizer. Oh, one more thing. You may consider this a moot point now, but someone asked me in the comments on a video our video about increasing testosterone in younger men. Is it true that the topical testosterone route raises DHT levels higher than the injectable route does? Yes, that's true, especially when applied to the scrotum and, and genital area. This is because there's a higher 5-alpha reductase enzyme level in the skin and genitals, which is what converts testosterone to DHT. But I hope that after what you've just learned, you might now view that as being not so significant a factor when deciding which route suits you better. When consulting, I tell practitioners if they have a guy who's really concerned and wants to slow down um, his hair loss, go ahead and try some finasteride or detasteride. It will reduce loss, but side effects like decreased libido, erectile issues, um, even ejaculation problems, depression, might be too high a price to pay. You just have to try it and see.